Good morning, it's Sunday morning, the morning after the 2017 Grand National and I've only gone and done it again. I tipped one for Arthur at odds of 40 to 1 to members back in January as one of my two anti-post each way bets for the Grand National two months ahead of the race. One for Arthur, the Scottish trained one for Arthur, came past the post at an SP price of 14 to 1, but I and several long-term followers got on at a much bigger price. On January 24th, I mailed out to members my anti-post fancies for Cheltenham and Aintree. They included my 40 to 1 each way tip about one for Arthur. I had placed my bet of a fiver each way 10 days earlier, January the 14th. It was before non-runner no bet terms applied, so a fiver each way was all I was going to risk two months ahead of the race. So those who were members of EG Tips on January 24th got that anti-post tip and I've heard back from several of them since the race who followed me in and backed one for Arthur at 40 to 1. Well done you! But the week before the race, I thought I had done my dough. The drying weather in the UK had led trainer Lucinda Russell, her partner and assistant trainer Peter Scudamore, and the owners of One for Arthur to consider pulling him out of the race. On the Thursday before the race, I alerted members to the fact that connections feared the ground would be too firm for him. Post-race, Scudamore said they had even thought about withdrawing him on the very day of the race. The doubts about his going on the ground meant that I did not place another bet on one for Arthur and I told existing members 48 hours before the race that I wouldn't be back in one for Arthur again because of the weather. So my apologies to those who joined VG Tips after January the 24th. But to be fair, if the trainer herself has doubts, it's understandable that I did. In my post to members this week, I explained why I had tipped one for Arthur anti-post at 40 to 1. After his sixth length win on January the 14th, I thought he looked all over a Grand National contender. That's why my fiver each way went down immediately after that race, and why I told my existing members to back one for Arthur each way anti-post. Of course, many of those people have stuck with me for years, through thick and thin, they were winners in 2016, when I again tipped the Grand National winner, Rule the World, at 50 to 1. Those members, they know that profitable punting is a marathon and not a sprint. That you shouldn't judge a fellow punter or even a tipster on one day or one week or one month of tips, but on a year of profit. And that's how, since 1998, I've judged my success. Next up, the flat is back. The flat racing season. And what a start we've had at VG Tips. I'll be reflecting on the profit from day one of the UK and Irish flat seasons and looking ahead to the season as a whole in my next video diary. I've already placed a couple of anti-post bets for the Derby and the Guineas and if you want to know what those are, come and join VG Tips, www.vgtips.co.uk. I'm off now to raise a glass of something suitably Scottish to Lucinda Russell, possibly the nicest lady in racing, and her winner of the 2017 Grand National, my 40 to 1 anti-post tip to members of EG Tips back in January, the one and only One for Arthur.